Historically, we are a nation of seafarers. Therefore, it's not surprising that many of our young citizens come here to HMS Raleigh to undergo training to become proud members of the Royal Navy. Situated in East Cornwall, not far from the River Tamar, and with a backdrop of low rolling hills, it's a congenial setting for what will become home for the first chapter of their chosen career. Named after Sir Walter Raleigh, the famous 16th century naval captain and explorer, this figurehead is one of the first objects that the new trainees see when they arrive on that first day. Often it's their first experience of a naval establishment and military discipline. The visit to the barbers on the second day can be quite a shock to the system. And the wardrobe can be a little different to the usual attire. Although the Royal Navy is steeped in history, HMS Raleigh is an up-to-date modern training establishment which has been rebuilt in recent years and reflects the calibre of training that's required in today's modern navy, a navy that has the admiration of the world. When transforming from civilian to military personnel, one of the first things that you learn is basic drill, which can present a few problems. Class, Hell. Class boy, the left. Yes. Ah, what are we doing now? You are now the front rank, so your arms should be up. March. Left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, left wheel. Center right. Quick. Mark. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Rear right. Quick. Mark. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. A key requirement of the Royal Navy is physical fitness, and here are a few scenes that may bring back some vivid memories to the graduating trainees.
but it's not all physical. There's the academic aspect. It's important to have a well-educated force, for naval warfare is at the forefront of technology. Team sports are encouraged, as it's essential there's a strong comradeship amongst the trainees, and there's no lack of opportunities here at HMS Raleigh. And when not on duty, there's always the naffy, where they can relax with their newfound friends. Perhaps discuss the day's work, or even the virtues of their friendly instructor. The highlight for most is the hands-on experience with Raleigh Flotilla of sailing boats. little acorns, big oak trees grow. For the successful trainees, the culmination of all the hard work and training is the ceremonial passing out parade, when families and friends are invited to witness a day to remember. We've got them steps, sir, in the glass doors and turn left. HMS Rally. You will shortly witness the ceremony of divisions. It is customary in all of Her Majesty's ships and shore establishments to hold divisions at regular intervals to enable the commanding officer with his senior officers to inspect and review the ship's company. The primary aim of HMS Rally is to carry out the basic training necessary for a serviceman in the Royal Navy a service woman of the Queen Alexander's Royal Naval Nursing Service and a woman's Royal Naval Service. As well as professional and academic training, great importance is attached to the bearing and self-discipline of the individual. These remain a fundamental requirement of any fighting service. The most junior class you will see on the parade ground today Daney Division, Friends Training, Dauntless Squadron, who have been in the Royal Navy for two weeks. Passing out classes on the parade ground are Burgess, Spicanel, Bass, Warsaw, Thompson, Sherville, 
and Griffin. And I've just got a friend who's training. This guy's got him. Benbo, 43. Cunningham, 43. Drake, 43. And level 1 training. Revenge Squadron. Victory Division of Wren's Training Dawn Squadron. Leading Cooks Qualifying Course 43, the Royal Naval Supply School. Writers 104, the Royal Naval Supply School. The guard is that of Harker's Division of Artists for Apprentice Training, Fisgar Squadron. And Anson 43, of Level 1 Training, Revenge Squadron. The band is that for Majesty's Royal Marines, flag off to Plymouth. The salute today will be taken by Rear Admiral J.P.W. Middleton, C.S.O. Brackets E, Commander-in-Chief Fleet. We will also make presentations for training achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, if you feel cold during the ceremony of divisions, you are most welcome to return to the right club where there's an excellent view of divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, divisions.
stop for a car. Hey, Bob. Huh. Get him stop. Okay. Bob. Go! 
Full salute! Freeze out!
Services, divisions of caps. Pray, stand at A. Let us ask God's blessing on those passing out of basic and professional training today. Grant them all a spirit of gratitude towards their family, friends, and training staff all of whose combined time and efforts have brought them to this happy occasion. May they each be worthy ambassadors of the uniform they wear and of the highest traditions of the service. And now the traditional prayer of the Royal Navy. O eternal Lord God, who alone spreadest out the heavens and rulest the raging of the sea, who has compassed the waters with bounds until day and night come to an end, be pleased to receive into the almighty and most gracious protection the persons of us thy servants and the fleet in which we serve. Preserve us from the dangers of the sea and of the air and from the violence of the enemy, that we may be a safeguard unto our most gracious sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, and her dominions, and the security for such as pass on the seas upon their lawful occasions, that the inhabitants of our island and commonwealth may in peace and quietness serve thee our God, and that we may return in safety to enjoy the blessings of the land with the fruits of our labours, and with the thankful remembrance of thy mercies, to praise and glorify thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be amongst you and remain with you always, now and forevermore. Amen. Parade! Ho! Divisions on caps! Parade! Stand at A! We now come to the presentation of prizes. The Owen Cup. To receive the Owen Cup for achieving the highest individual marks in final examination part one training, 
Assistant Stores Accountant Langmead of Drake 43 class. The Ganges Trophy. To receive the Ganges Trophy on behalf of the Cunningham Division, who obtained the best results in Part 1 final examinations, Marine Engineering Mechanic Moore of Cunningham 43. To receive a tankard for gaining the highest overall marks during the weapon training week, weapons engineering mechanic Webstall of Drake 43 class. And to receive a prize for gaining the highest overall march during weapon training week, Ren Stewart Dunn of Victory Class. And the Rani Medal, to receive the Rani Medal for the best all-round performance during Artificer Apprentice Training, Apprentice Air Engineering Artificer Flynn of Harkis Division. to pick up your prizes straight after the division. Presentation party! Help! This! This!
As the day that will be remembered for many a year draws to a close, we wish all the trainees a happy and rewarding career in the Royal Navy. The Senior Service.